two months ago, three months ago, I don't know, I got a new can of Bear Dynasty. It was a day that was very hot, hotter than usual, and I know that the Shelly Art recipe doesn't quite work once the weather gets humid and hot. So that day I mixed up my paints with a new can of Bear Dynasty. It's this guy, the deep base in semi-gloss. And I mixed it with my, um, this says Joe Sonia, but it has actually the Minrex polycrylic in it. That was my usual rec recipe and I saw right away it was way thinner than it usually is. So I thickened it up with more of the deep base. Thought it was kind of weird, but then started painting anyway, where my paint just melted away. And I thought it's because of the hot weather. Turns out the weather got colder again, but still my paints would melt. I heard from other people that the varnish can cause some melting, especially with the bare 8300 that I cannot get and that is discontinued as I heard. So everybody's having trouble with their pouring medium base at the moment. So I kind of let go for a while, then tried it again. Two or three months of letting go, not painting. And I ended up doing really cool other stuff like um, getting into spray paint, using texture. I know I haven't really showed you guys. Um, I might at one point. And then I finally called Bear. I did that because I was worried that they changed the recipe the same as they changed the recipe of the Bear 8300. I called them and she told me that they have no intention of changing the formula and nothing has changed at all. So that might have been a bad batch. So that paint, I'm going to show it to you, was not that. Usually the beer has a pinkish tone to it, but this one was white. I could just drizzle it down from my stick. It wasn't, it's not super thin, but it's thin enough to totally change everything up. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it got hot. I don't know. Same day after that phone call, I went back to Home Depot and tried to get a different can and they didn't have any gallons anymore. They did, but they had the same batch number so I didn't get those. They only had those small ones. And that was a tad thicker, but it had this pinkish undertone back. So I mixed that up with my varnish. And at the same time, I remembered the problems that people had with varnish. And I know that some people use a deep base from Lowe's, that is the Valspa Ultra in uh, gloss. This is semi-gloss, works too. Get the high gloss. I'm not 100% sure where I saw it years ago that somebody mixed this with a different deep base to get to the right consistency instead of varnish. I think it was Karen, but I don't know. Whoever it was, uh, that's where I saw it. A couple of weeks ago, Tara from Pieces of Terra Artistry, hi girl, used this with the Bear Dynasty as a pouring medium. So I tried that out.
here are the two. They dried pretty. I can almost not see a difference. This is number one. Not in super love with the colors, so I think the blue is a little disturbing. Or is it the purple? Maybe it's the yellow. <laughs> one of them doesn't fit. Yeah, and then we have the other one. Same thing, crisp lines. Um, so just a feeling. Mixed with varnish, like my old recipe, works again. And it also works great with the Valspar Ultra. So I will start using the Velspa Dynasty mix just because when I saw the cells that Tara created or the cells that I created, um, it's very promising and I really want to see what he can do. So that will be my recipe from now on. When I say recipe, um, I will maybe next video I will show you how I mix the paint because I'm not really sure. I have to get in a total new routine of mixing. I can't use my pre-made pouring medium anymore because it varies too much. I felt like I could mix the thick golden paints with just the Valspa Ultra. I will definitely experiment more with the Valspa just because I just bought two gallons of it. <laughs> I got excited. And also it looks very promising. So I'll show you mixing in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Love you guys.